So, guess what today is, everybody? Um, one year ago today, I got to experience Ibogaine. Um, I was a opiate addict. Um, I started out taking pain pills that turned into um, Subutex that I got prescribed for my doctor and that went on for years. Um, uh, before I began, I would definitely say that I felt trapped, like I was never going to get out of um, being addicted to opiates. Um, I can't give all the credit to Ibogaine because um, the effort that me and Mason put in to get off of um, Subutex, switch over to um, short-acting opiates, just to get to um, Ibogaine, which we had to do for three weeks. Um, every day was hell for us um, up until our Ibogaine. Um, we were in constant withdrawal, even taking handfuls of pills, doing heroin. We were still, oh, and on top of doing meth, you know, uh, we were still in constant withdrawal, it felt like. Um, after I began, um, we most definitely still felt some sort of withdrawal, nothing like we would have if we didn't go to Ibogain, but we were still, um, I guess it wasn't really necessarily withdrawal, it was just our body trying to, um, cope and get used to not having the opiates. We came home and we were extremely tired, way more tired than you could even imagine, yet if we would lay down to um, rest or whatever, we would uh, we would be in constant restlessness. Our legs would go crazy, our arms would go crazy. Uh, we were constantly um, uncomfortable. It took about uh, five weeks of pure agony until we actually started to kind of look upward. But in the meantime, when we got back from doing Ibogaine, uh, within like a week we started using meth again. And our excuse was to uh, kind of ease the withdrawal and to get us through the withdrawal, to get us through the tiredness, the heaviness, the um, uncomfortableness of having the restlessness, and that we swore we weren't going to continue to um, use meth, but that didn't happen. We continued using meth for um, like seven, eight months, and then that led to DCFS getting involved with our lives. Um, since then, we have been clean for six months off of uh, meth, and today's a year since I've been clean off opiates, and tomorrow will be a year since Mason's been off opiates. Um, I cannot tell you what we have gone through in this year. It has been a very, 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 very hard year, emotionally, physically, Mentally, um, it has been hard. Um, so I just want to say that um, for all of you out there that have been struggling with a opiate addiction or any sort of addiction that you just can't get rid of, I am living proof that you can do it and nobody says that it's going to be easy because it's not going to be easy but if you continue to use and continue to do what you're doing that's not going to be easier and it's not going to be easy either the only thing that i can say is when you continue to use you're going to continue to be unhappy and miserable and all that but when you stop using you might be uncomfortable 
very, very, very uncomfortable. You might have a lot of depression, anxiety, stress, so on and so forth. But that will go away and things will look better. Trust me. But if you continue to use, it won't look better. You won't start feeling better, ever. It'll only get worse. So your best bet is to put on your armor and get through it because it's so worth it. So worth it. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys um, my celebration of one year clean off of opiates. Thanks guys. See you later.